Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. I'm going to show you a powerful chart, Bitcoin chart that you've never seen before on my channel and I think you should seriously pay attention to this because it's powerful. Have I said powerful? It's powerful. <laughs> this is called the Don Channel. Am I saying that right? Take a look over here, the Don Chain Channel. I've even got it up on here so you can see as well. The Don Chain Channel uh, are a technical or is a technical indicator that seeks to identify bullish and bearish trend reversals reversals extreme trend reversals what do i mean so you can see clearly in this chart exactly when we've had uh, you know tops or highs of prices and you can see exactly where prices have fell down to exactly and i'm going to break this down with you make you understand why it's powerful why we should be watching it if it sounds interesting to you please drop that like give me a subscribe if you're watching grab a coffee come back just sit with me for this moment and understand this uh, chart because it is powerful I want to take you back. Hold on. Let me just... I've got the bloody pen tool. I want to take you back, right back to... Whoa, this is the last uh, cycle, 2017. I might go back further. Uh, before I go into this, I've already said it. I'm going to say it again. I need to let you know. I'm not a financial advisor. These are my own personal opinions on the market. Please do, further, do your further research before you invest your money. Let me Actually, let me take, take you back. Take you back. 2013, 2014's top. Why? Because you can see clearly what has been going on. Now, I like to use this Don Chain channel with the RSI, the stochastic RSI. Why? Because when you have the stochastic RSI down here on top of this, you can see momentum. And then you can get a good clean picture as to when you should be taking profits. Let's take a look at this, this huge rally back in 2013, then you'll understand what we're going to be doing in the future. Uh, so, you know, Bitcoin went on an insane rally. All of this up here that I'm circling, all of this, an insane rally. And how did you know when to take profits? Because, you know, had you not seen this, even if you didn't see this chart here, people were just guessing. No one really knows when the top is. How do you know where the top is? Because, you know, you could you could have been seeing this rally rally up somewhere here. You take profits thinking, okay, this is it. Even up here, look, ah, oh, this is it. This is the top. Let's take some profits. But when you turn this on, the Don chain just says it precise. And it has an orange line in the middle which i'm guessing is the 20 moving average line and when you use it with the stochastic rsi you can see the momentum meaning the price momentum from here from the moment it crossed has been up and it's been right up high and you can see that it's remained up here for a long period of time look at this i'm going to show you all of this area up here it remained up here for a long period of time and that was the huge spark rally that you could see in the don chain to, on top of this uh, I take this orange line serious in this Don Chain. If the price action does not break this, this middle line, it's in a good bullish trend. Same for if it was reversed. If it was underneath it and it couldn't break above it, it's in a bearish trend, right? So, you know, just that alone gives you enough evidence to say, okay, let me let it ride. Let the price ride. Let it keep going because it hasn't broke this yellow line yet. Let it keep riding until it breaks this yellow line. So you would have ridden this all the way up. And once you seen it come up here when you saw the first red candle you would have taken profits here or you would have waited for it to cross this yellow line which at this time would have been round about here crossed it sorry orange crossed the orange line came down and it printed a printed its first weekly candle underneath now again this is weekly candles weekly time frame so one week's worth of action okay so this for me this area here would have been my first time to consider taking profits before it entered the bear market of 2014s right 2013 2014s but it had a double top so even though i would have taken profits here i would have waited i would have waited a long time why because it was underneath this orange line for a long period of time it's risky i don't want to be risking putting loads of money in because I think it's going to go up on or go I wasn't sure right so you know I would have waited a long period of time until it broke it again and this for me guys was the break when I saw this here this was a perfect time to be buying back into crypto because it broke this, year, this uh, orange line and it came back above and it held support ever since you can see here came up for a second top and it came right up here and then you know Again, when it reached this orange line, could have been a good time to consider taking profits. Maybe that's your signal. Let's take some profits. Um, so, you know, watch this Don Chain because it's powerful for your, you know, when you want to do stuff. And look, so this was the top of the 
2014 cycle. I want to shrink this a bit so we can have a good clean picture of where the bottom would have been for this. So the through the Don chain, the Bitcoin price broke into it down the bottom down here. And then we saw further resistance. You tried to break above. We did see some break above. You know, actually, to be fair, look, look at this. This is this is a good example. Look at this. Look, um, you could have very well of taken profits around here somewhere, and then you could have let it fall down to here. And as soon as it hit this blue line, see, because I'm this. These are what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the blue lines. This is the extreme part. It's had extreme. Uh, pressure or falls to the downside that has tapped this blue line. You can see most of the time it doesn't tap the blue line. It's when it taps it is when it's a good time to hit a price entry. And in my eyes, you could have bought here. And even if you rode it up to the orange line, you know, from here to here, you're, you're talking a 72% profit. Now, if you kept doing that on your crypto trades, you could just run this game like a boss. That's all I'm saying. Look, another fine example is here. This is all through the bear market. If you're looking for price entries in the bear market, you could have bought down here because it tapped the blue line and then it could have came right up to the middle line you know, take that 64 pr uh, profits like a boss. Same down here. Look at this. Look, uh, you could, have, you know, wait for it to tap the blue line, you know, rode it right up to the middle line. Take that 105, 106% profit like a boss. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, let's, let's, let's continue forward. So this was the bearish uh, market that we had for 2014, 2013-2014s. Uh, then from here, this lowest point, you can see the, the break. Where was the break? Actually, we had one here. Again, you could still be riding this, and you know. So even if you wanted to buy down here and take profits here, you could have done that because that's the top. You know, you can see it hit the blue top line. So what I'm saying is every time it hits the bottom line, good time to buy. When it hits the top of the blue line, good time to sell. But now you might consider... Uh, or you might come into a situation like this where, you know, you're, you're buying down here and then as it comes up here, this is a fine example, this just this area right here, you're buying down here, and then you're selling, you come up here and you might sell and then you might say, well, hold on a minute, how do I know if th that this isn't going to come crashing back down to the blue line? Well, you can see here, this orange line is what's going to help you and, and on top of that, you need to have the stochastic RSI because if the stochastic RSI shows bullish momentum upwards, which it does at this time, you know that there's still more power, there's still more move to come up. So that's what I would have been watching. I would have been watching the stochastic RSI. I would have seen that as quite bullish. And, you know, I would have just focused on this, you know, whole area, seeing how long it can ride for. And, you know, even all of this, this is another fine example, all of this. Look, let me just show you because I want to really make it clear and simple. Let me bring the stochastic RSI down a bit. So anywhere here, if you'd got in at any time, this is 2017 cycle. Had you've got in anywhere here, you know, again, without this Don channel, you can't see when a good time to buy and sell is. You don't know what's going to happen. You know, you could have you could have bought down here and then up here. You could have thought this was the top of the market and because it's crashing down, you could have thought that was it. But if, you know, and I'm on about this I'm on about this area here, you could have, you know, taken profits here thinking, ah, oh, the market's finished now, it's going to come down. But when you turn on the Don channel, you can see where it's holding support. You can see that um, this is holding support on this orange line. You can see it here, which means that, it, you know, there's probably still more moves to come in the future. You know, so that's what you can do. You can look at that. You can use the stochastic uh, stochastic side to see if there's momentum going to kick back in as well, which there was momentum came up. And this is what can help you on your journey. All these touch points, you know, blue, blue, blue. You'd be thinking, ah, oh, time to sell, time to sell. Yeah, you can. Like I said, you can you can play this like a savage. You can take profits here. You can wait for it to have its crash back down to the, the orange line. That's a 35% drop. Buy some more because you know it's bouncing off this orange line. And look, you could keep, you could just keep doing that. You know, take profits here, come down, wait for it to get to the orange line, another thirty-five percent profits or, or, or discount. I call it discount when it's cheapest discount. Um, but yeah, you know, this is what I'm going to be watching in the future because I think that this Don Chain channel is going to indicate to us where Bitcoin is going and where the bottom of the market is going to be because you can see it so clearly. You know, this was the bottom of the market according to many people for 2018 2019 that was the top 2017 so and where are we today let's have a look i'm going to bring this right forward and show you exactly where we are today so according to this you know these these pinpoints right at the top the blue here blue there it, where it hit the blue at the top those could have very well been the top of the market at the moment and i'm looking down here why because if this you know look had we have been watching the don chain channel 
you know, you would have bought down here back in May, May 21st, because that was the the drop. That was the biggest part of the of the, or the lowest uh, point of the market where the market fell at that time. And you can see there, it hit the blue line down here, and then it reversed and went straight back up. Again, this is about reversals, trend reversals. It went right up to this blue line up here. Any one of these points could have been great times to take profits. And even if you missed this blue line and you wasn't paying attention, hold on, let me oh, <laughs> let me just come up a bit. Let me just bring the camera up. Uh, camera, the, uh, the the image. Here we go. Even if we uh, chart the chart. Even if we was gonna. Even if you missed this point here to take profits. And it slammed down to here because you know it broke below it, and then you can see there was buy power. This wick, this candle is a wick, whereas it's buy power, and it came straight back up to this orange line. That could have signaled a good time to take profits there because the next candle printed below this orange line, which means that we were going to see a downtrend, guys. It was coming, whether we liked it or not, it was coming. And this was the great perfect point entry to come in right when it touched this blue line here. You see, anywhere here would have been a good buy. Or to us, it feels like we should have bought back then. You know, I've been telling patrons to buy all through this period. And if you as a patron of mine, you was buying. Many people were panic selling with this fear and greed. Look at the fear and greed. People were so extreme fear and scared to buy. I was telling my patrons to buy. And guys, if you don't want to miss this stuff, become a patron because I keep the head level, focused. We see what's going on. They're seeing this chart before you are. And this is what you want to have. You want to have something that's clear and easy in your head. I can show you how to set it up. It's so simple. You know, just go on to, um, what is it called? Uh, Trading View. Sign up for free. And when you're done, you just click on uh, the indicators and you search the Don channel. Come up straight away. Don Chain channel. Right there. It comes up straight away. And then it loads up and it looks just like how I'm showing you there. But yeah, become a Patreon. Don't miss this stuff. I've got seven tiers. Take your pick. I recommend going for my exclusive VIP partner tier. That's this one here because it unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking. You get to see some charts and stuff, indicators, all this stuff that's going to guide you on your crypto journey. If you want that little bit more, go for my CEO tier. It unlocks all my posts. You can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, everything I'm doing right before I do it because it's in my exclusive VIP Telegram group. I'm talking to people in here before I do anything. We're discussing it. And we've got big money, high crypto profile users in this space talking about big projects. They know how to make money. That's all I'm saying. Let's go back to this real quick because I'm not finished. So um, this channel right here tells me that we have already may have well seen the bottom of this trend, right? We had, we've been in a bearish trend for about three, four months now and maybe longer, you know, and this could very well be the end of this trend, okay? Now, I believe, what do I believe? I believe Bitcoin's going to come up to this orange line. It's going to test this orange line like it's done many of times in the past and the, the price is sitting about $50,000, you will see a $50,000 price for Bitcoin and everybody's going to be excited thinking that it's going to 100k. But I want you to pay attention. I want you to pay attention and say to yourself, right, it's just hit 50k. Is it going to go higher? Is it going to go lower? Let me grab on the Don chain because you can do it now. Just showed you how to do it. Trade and view. Have a look at the Don chain. Keep an eye on it. See if it gets rejected from it because if one piece of rejection, we could end up coming back down right? Uh, but if it breaks it, my God, be prepared because it could very well come right up to the top of here. And again, I don't know, is it going to print a new all-time high? Is it going to do a double top? Because the last time it hit 69k, you know, this is showing 69k again. That's what I want you to be paying attention to because that's what I'm paying attention to. And look at the stochastic RSI with it because this doesn't lie. And you can see here, the, the the momentum is picking up. And I've been saying this, watch what's coming for Bitcoin because the momentum shifting up. The Don chain looks like it's in perfect form for a trend reversal. We've already had, it looks like it's called the trend reversal, just like it did back here. You know, if you look back here, it says that was the bottom. And this is the trend reversal coming up. It broke this orange line. We picked up and hit a new all-time high from last, you know, from last April. So this could very well do the same thing. The reversal's coming up, you know, on the, on the uh, sorry, the momentum's coming up on the stochastic RSI. The price action looks to be coming up. It could come to 50k if it breaks it. I'm expecting, I'm expecting it to come to the top of this, uh, this uh, channel, which again is marking 16, 69. 
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 69K. Let me bring this white line down because that was confusing me. Right here. That's what I'm looking for. 69K. Again, same price as what we hit before. And then if it changes, if it opens up and widens, then obviously I'll bring you another video on this and then we can discuss it again. But this is what I'm looking for. These two lines here. This this orange line. Break it. If it does call, cool, white line at the top is where we can consider taking some more profits. But anywhere in here could be a good time to take profits if we've already seen the top of the market. How do we know? Well, time's going to tell. Time will tell if we've hit the top of the market or if we haven't so i wanted to show that to you it's powerful how are we looking over here uh so this is the gaussian channel again you know i showed you guys this before i bring it up again again i've got the stochastic color side that shows that there's bullish momentum going up but the the, uh, the gaussian channel hits a different price part a price point if you look here we've been in this gaussian channel for a while and it's showing that it's testing this middle line this just green middle line it's testing it and it is resistance for it. It's a resistance at $43,000, $44,000. If it can break this, which is about $43,000, $44,000, uh, $43,000, $44,000, uh, then, you know, the next price part for me would be to the top of this Gaussian channel first. So maybe consider taking profits, you know, if you want, at $54,000 because that's going to be a test. You know, 50 to 54, That I see Bitcoin going there. I really do. I really do see it going there way before it even gets a chance to come up to the 68, 69,000. These are the resistant points. So I'm watching that as well. Before I go, uh, where's this last chart? This one. I've been showing you guys this chart for a while. This is the um, Bitcoin log growth curves, but I want to show you the RSI down here because I've had this trend line for a while and I've been saying to you, Bitcoin's going to come back up and test this trend line and if you look here it looks like it's testing it it looks like it's getting close coming up to it and when it comes up to it i believe that's when we're going to see a, a price of fifty thousand dollars right might be wrong but time's going to tell i'm going to bring a video if it does if bitcoin's on fifty thousand dollars and then this blue line's right here where i need it to be then we can say to ourselves what's going to happen are we going to get rejected are we going to break through if we break through this you know sky's clear for bitcoin because there's no resistance really you know, we could see some new all-time highs, maybe. Time will tell. Uh, but, guys, I'm going to leave it here. If this was helpful to you, please drop that like. Give me a subscribe if you're new watching. Are you new? Again, become a patron. Seven tiers, take your pick. Uh, and, yeah, uh, have I done anything else? I've done anything else. I've done it all. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.